All right, we're going to do a quick review of linear equations and some of their properties. All right, so first and foremost, a linear equation is really just any equation of the proper form. And the form that I'm talking about is this y equals ax plus b. Now here we're assuming that those values for a and b are real, but really what we're saying is as long as you can take an equation and put it into that form, you know that it is a linear equation. Now this particular form has a special name. This is what we call our slope intercept form. And it's really handy for graphing if we happen to know the slope and the y-intercept. Uh, let's go ahead and look at a few examples so you get a better sense of what I'm talking about when I say linear equations. All of these equations that I have here happen to be linear equations, and we can see that they definitely fit the form. And this first one here, the 3 would be like our value of a, and the 2 would be the value of b. So it fits that y equals ax plus b form. Looks pretty good. Uh, next one, same thing. The a would be the 2 thirds, and the b would be that negative 7. Now, in that definition it says as long as it can be written in that form, that's how you know it's a linear equation. So it even includes things like this equation. It doesn't look like it's in that form, but with a little bit of manipulation, sure enough, it can be put into that form, uh, in which case this one turns into y equals 2x plus 3, and then sure enough, it fits the form, so we can call it a linear equation. Uh, even the next one is in the same boat. It, it may not look like it's in the proper form yet, but with a little bit of work, a little bit of manipulation, it will turn into the proper form. We can see that the value of a would be like that 3 fifths, and the value of b would be the 1 fifth. Now, when it comes to linear equations, it's often easier to see whether something is not a linear equation. Uh, things that you will never be able to put into the proper form is if, let's say, you have powers on your variable, like an x squared, uh, there's no way that's going to fit the proper form because uh, x has the wrong power entirely. Other great things you want to know about linear equations um, are things about their graph. In general, you know, the, the graph of a nice linear equation will have a, a very distinctive shape. These will be the nice straight lines. And they really do continue off in both directions infinitely. Uh, so I have just a portion of a nice linear equation, and maybe we should put some arrows on the end just to signify that it really does keep going on and on. Uh, sometimes these will be going up from the lower left to the upper right. Sometimes they will actually fall from the upper left to the, the lower right, something like this. But either way, they will have that nice distinctive straight line shape. So some things you want to know about their graph, well, there's a couple of good properties for these linear equations. The first is their slope. The slope is really a characteristic of how steep that line is. And when it's written in this slope-intercept form, that's really going to be the value of a sitting right next to the x. So that gives you a good sense of you know, how steep it is. The larger the value of a is, the steeper that line will be. For the y-intercept, that is going to be the second value. So that's going to be the value of b. Specifically, this is the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. And with those two things, you have plenty of information that you could go ahead and actually graph the line. Let's make sure we're on the same page by doing a few quick examples so you can see how you can identify these if an equation has been written in the slope-intercept form. So the first of these, I have y equals uh, 4x minus 5. So that first number there, the uh, 4, that is what we'd call the slope. The second number is that negative 5, so that's going to be our y-intercept, negative 5. And we definitely take the negative sign along with that 5. All right, on to the next one. We can see that the value sitting right next to the x is a negative 1 half, so that is going to be our slope. And in terms of the y-intercept, looks like it's going to be a positive 3. Now here's one of those equations where it doesn't look like it's in the proper form, and that's okay. This is definitely one you can uh, manipulate, rearrange, and get it in that proper form. When it's in that proper form, this will be y equals 2x plus 4. All right, now it's looking great. Uh, I can see that the slope is going to be sitting there in front of our x value, so the slope is going to be at 2. And our y-intercept, that's just going to be our positive 4 on the end. Looks great. Again, the direction that these linear equations, well, they could be going up, they could be going down. And you can tell a little bit about which way it's going, actually depending on the slope. If your slope happens to be positive, you will get a nice increasing line. If it happens to be a negative value for a slope, then it will be a decreasing line. 
All right, and that's a quick review on linear equations. Hey guys, my name is Jess, the head of education here at WISE. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you want to see the complete course, please check out the link in the description. You can also go to one of our playlists to keep learning for free. If you want us to cover a specific course or a specific topic, please leave us a comment below. We post new videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new stuff.